The hero is a clothing owner who started from nothing. He's married to a beautiful woman. He has a daughter. But he didn't realize that his wife has become a protectionist. Her daughter will be in elementary school soon. She's been taking her husband to the school every day. Only the top five schools in Delhi were selected. The first one looks like a five-star hotel. The second one is purely English. But their target is Delhi Grammar School. But he only admits kids who live within three kilometers. The tycoon says we'll live in an old-fashioned street. Wife says we should just move to a richer neighborhood. Husband refused. Wife went on a hunger strike. The two of them moved to the rich neighborhood. The new neighbors are indifferent. Hubby missed the old neighborhood with its human touch. So she threw a party. The tycoon really doesn't fit in here. He danced a folk dance with his daughter in front of everyone. The neighbors made fun of him. The wife turned off the electric switch. She scolded her husband. The rich couple has become very wealthy in the area. Rich kids don't play with their daughter. Because parents don't allow kids to play with Hindi-speaking kids. The mom was furious. She wanted her daughter to go to a prestigious school. The tycoon came to the school to enroll his daughter. They didn't realize there was already a line dozens of meters long. They went to the counselor. The counselor said you're too late. Many parents came to me right after they got pregnant. He immediately drew up a detailed plan. The counselor hired a writer to help them with their English applications. He hired a dress code consultant to help them with their attire. During the interview, the tycoon revealed his lack of education. As a result, their daughter wasn't accepted by any of the four top schools. The consultant said the problem is you. The schools think you're rich. The tycoon was furious. He went to the politicians first, and the politician said, The principal just tore up my letter of recommendation. The tycoon came with a big pile of money to bribe him. Then he saw the principal kicking out the bribe givers. The tycoon had to sneak out. Then he went to the counselor. The counselor gave him a bad idea. To apply for a poor person's qualification and pretend to be poor. In order to send their daughter to a prestigious school, the tycoon and his wife went to the slums. The local poor carried their bags and gave their little daughter candy. The mom yelled that she couldn't have any, and that pissed off the poor people. At night there were mosquitoes everywhere, and rats crawling on their feet in the middle of the night. In the morning, my husband had a bowel movement. My wife had to go out to fetch water for him, but none of the neighbors would give him water. A poor man came out and said, I have water. The rich couple made friends with the poor man. Soon the vice principal of the school came to see if they were really poor, to see if they were really poor. He noticed the rich man's hands were so soft. The poor man saw that his hands were full of calluses. He continued to hang out at the tycoon's house. They got caught in the crossfire. The poor man's friend came out to solve the problem. He said they must be rich and broke. That's how the vice principal allayed his suspicions. But he said he'd come back in a month. The rich couple had to learn how to be poor. The first thing they did was to get on a bus. The poor man's friend got on, but the rich man couldn't. The poor man had to get off the bus and take the tycoon for a second ride. The tycoon wanted to take a yellow bus, but he was scolded for not spending money. The poor man showed him how to get on the bus. The poor man introduced the tycoon as a laborer to load cookies, and the cookies fell all over the floor. He was scolded by the supervisor. The tycoon wanted to go to the restroom. The supervisor said he'd have to take a pay cut. The tycoon said, Mr. and Mrs. Toho were very upset but in the poor neighborhood. But in the poor neighborhood. Their daughter smiled more. She fell down by accident. They saw the other kids picking the girl up. The vice principal came back, approved their applications. Both kids can go to a prestigious school. The vice principal said you only need to pay $24,000. The rich man says, no problem. My poor friend says, isn't it free? The vice principal said it's for after school programs. That night, he took out his bank card and withdrew the money. The poor man's friend asked him what he was doing. The tycoon said he was stealing money. The poor man said there's a surveillance system here. Take him away immediately. Suddenly the poor man walked into the middle of the road. He was hit by a car. The tycoon grabbed the driver and yelled at him. Said he wanted to call the police. The poor man said he only needed a little money. He gave the money to the tycoon. Both families had paid their tuition fees. But the school cut the number of places suddenly. The rich man's daughter was selected. But the poor man's son didn't get in. When the poor man came out, he couldn't hold back his tears. The rich couple had mixed feelings. It's all done. The family returned to the rich neighborhood. But guilt still gnawed at their hearts. So they decided to help their poor friends in secret. They made an anonymous donation to a public school. To help all the poor students go to school. Including the poor friend's son. 
The poor man was so grateful to this unknown benefactor, he went to the principal and begged him to reveal his name. But the principal only gave him an address. A friend came and found out the truth about the tycoon. The tycoon was in a hurry to explain. The poor man was furious. He went to the famous school to denounce the tycoon. He went to the principal's office. The tycoon's daughter was passing by. She saw the poor man and ran to greet him. The poor man couldn't bear to rob him of his happiness. The tycoon and his wife, who were in a hurry, looked at him and didn't dare to speak. The poor man said to the tycoon, the difference between you and me is this. I don't steal other people's rights. And when he's gone, the tycoon can't take it anymore. He's going to tell the principal. Once again, the wife stops him. He said, I've been a good husband and father all my life. But if I can't even be a good man, how can I be a good husband and father? Later, the principal listened to the hero's words. He deleted his daughter's record as a poor student. She was changed to an ordinary student. The hero realized the so-called poor student quota is just a cover-up. The principal has always believed poor students don't deserve to enter this prestigious school. At the parent-teacher conference, he exposed his own ugly tactics and the principal's hypocrisy. He said my daughter won't learn here how to be happy. He'll only learn selfishness, comparison, exploitation and indifference, and that sharing and kindness are what the poor people teach him. The man left with his wife and daughter. He eventually sent his daughter to a public school.